The Desert Proving Ground has been involved with many of these events and we get to have our guys that have a lot of experience doing vehicle testing, working with the students who are really up to speed on the new technologies. They teach us a few things and I think we teach them a few things and it's just really great to watch them working together over the course of the week. What the students are trying to do this year, integrating the vehicle, is really uh, something that we do every day. So we're somewhat familiar with it, and uh, I think we're pretty good at it. Integration is all about taking the designs and making them real. Going from the CAD models that they've developed over the last year and a half, and then actually building it and putting it into the car. This is a really exciting time for teams. This is where the rubber meets the road. This is the first time they're putting their car together, and they're about to see whether their designs are going to work or not. We made pretty much everything in-house, um, so there was a lot of late nights in the machine shops, fabrication shops. Once components were put into the car, we had to change some of the initial positioning of components to make room. Uh, Electrical is always a challenge, uh, trying to figure out ways to uh, route the wires, but in the end it's kind of cool to see. You, know, you got this rat's nest of wires that you just bundled up, protected, and it's kind of cool to see how it all comes together. The idea was that we wanted to be able to have the power of a V8 with the efficiency of a, of a hybrid. So we've installed a 2-liter turbo LNF from a Pontiac Solstice GXP, made it to the 8-speed GM longitudinal transmission that was stocked with the car. We also have a motor and inverter from TM4, a battery from A123, and a transfer case from a Cadillac ATS all-wheel drive. This place is so cool. I've never seen a garage this well stocked, this awesome. The people here are fantastic. You know, everybody's super helpful. Seeing all the grounds and stuff outside, it's a really, really cool environment. All these lifts are top notch and you know, we're really enjoying ourselves. It takes a lot of patience, a lot of energy drinks, a lot of food, a lot of sleepless nights. Like my GM mentor says, one wire at a time. So that's how we, how we go about it, it's just one wire at a time.